In the North American Southwest, the landscape is rocky, rugged, and dry. We're here in the Sonoran Desert, the land of the saguaro cactus. It's us, the Kraft Brothers. I'm Chris. I'm Mark. And in this amazing habitat, there's an amazing creature who does a really special thing. Where are they? I don't see them. There. Oh, Harris is hawks. Wow. We found one, and that means there are others around. Because Harris's hawks hunt as a pack, just like wolves. They're usually in groups of about two to seven individuals. So let's see how many Harris's hawks are in this group. Martin, behind you. Well, that makes two. Chris on your left. And another. Now we have three Harris's hawks. One, two, three. There's at least three in this group. Now that is a pack, just like a wolf. And another one over there. All right, so we have four in this pack. This is a raptor pack. Harris's hawks. The pack hunters on the wing. They are exceptional because they're one of the only raptors who hunt in a group and coordinate and cooperate together. We're moving. I, I gotta pay attention. Imagine if we had the power to fly through the desert. Imagine if we could fly like a pack, like a team of hunting raptors. Imagine if we had Harris's hog powers. What if? I was walking through the desert one day in the merry, merry month of May. <gasps> Who's there? Hmm. Nothing. Hmm. Nothing. Uh, that's something. Oh, wolf hawk. Uh, your talents are a little scratchy. Oh, oh, oh. but finally. I found you, the rare and elusive wolf hawk. A pack of wolf hawks. Wow. I've got to tell the others. Wildcats. I found a wolf hawk in the desert. There is no wolf hawk in the desert. Wait, there's no wolf hawk anywhere. Oh yeah, there is. Let's see, here in the Sonoran Desert, there's Budio Jamaicensis, AKA the red-tailed hawk. There's a Cipher Cooper Eye, Cooper's hawk. And Parabudio Unisinctus, AKA the wolf hawk. No, that's the Harris's hawk. Well, yeah, but I think Wolf Hawk is a better name, so I'm calling them Wolf Hawks. Ah, <laughs> but you can't just go changing their names. Not changing it, just giving it a second better name. The Wolf Hawk. <laughs> yeah, there's a good name, but they don't really look like wolves. So why would you call them Wolf Hawks? Come on, let's go for a hike and I'll show you. You're on. Yeah, I want to see how a bird can be a wolf. I'm not too sure I do. What? 
What's he gonna do next? Rename a giraffe? The tree next goat? Huh, <laughs> this ought to be good. Hold it, hold it, listen to this. <clears throat> the Harris's hawk was discovered by famed naturalist John James Audubon and named after his friend Edward Harris 